Hello and welcome to this Launchpad Pro tutorial video. In this short video, we're going to explore standalone drum and note mode with different MIDI channels to connect multiple devices. With a standard 5-pin MIDI connection, we're going to connect the Launchpad Pro to an Electron Machine Drum, Studio Electronics Boomstar and an Ovation Base Station 2. With the standard 5-pin MIDI cable, we're going to use MIDI in out and through to connect the devices together. Let's take a quick look at how we do this. The MIDI output from the Launchpad Pro is fed directly to the MIDI input of the machine drum. In turn, the MIDI through connection is connected to the Boomstar 4075's MIDI input. MIDI through is essentially taking a mirror of what is received at the MIDI input and feeds that on to a different device. This means I can pass the MIDI signal from the Launchpad Pro through the machine drum into the Boomstar. The Boomstar's MIDI output is connected to the MIDI input of the base station too. Once again, the Boomstar 4075's MIDI output also acts as a MIDI through port. So the signal passes from Launchpad Pro through the machine drum, through the boom star, and finishes up at the base station too. When controlling multiple devices with any MIDI setup, we need to consider the MIDI channel. To change MIDI channel on Launchpad Pro is really easy. Press and hold the setup button, and you can then choose the appropriate MIDI channel from the 16 blue buttons at the bottom of Launchpad Pro. In this instance, my machine drum is set to work on MIDI channel 1. My boom star is set to work on MIDI channel 13. And finally, the base station 2 is set to receive MIDI on MIDI channel 15. I'm now going to control the different devices from the Launchpad Pro using the different standalone layouts. Initially, I'm going to control the machine drum with the standalone drum layout. To access the drum layout in standalone mode, simply press the setup button and choose the yellow button from the top of the Launchpad Pro. I can also choose the appropriate MIDI channel from the 16 blue buttons at the bottom. Here I'm set to MIDI channel 1. When I release the setup button, we'll have some scrolling text to tell us we're in the drum layout. Now I can play the machine drum from the pads on Launchpad Pro. I'm going to record a simple drum pattern into the machine drum. In order for me to keep time, I've already created a very simple hi-hat pattern which I will use as my metronome. If I press the record and play button on the machine drum, I go into a record mode. I can now use Launchpad Pro to enter the additional drum. Now I've created the drum pattern, I'm going to move to control the bass station from the chromatic layout. I press and hold the setup button, move to the note layout, and I choose the appropriate MIDI channel, channel 15. When I release the setup, I'll have some scrolling text to tell us that we're in note mode. The bass station 2 has a very simple sequence pre-programmed directly into it. And I can trigger the sequence by pressing any of the buttons on the Launchpad Pro. I'm now going to move to control the Boom Star. I'm already in the note layout, so I just simply need to change the MIDI channel. I've now moved that to MIDI channel 13. I can now play the Boom Star directly from the Launchpad Pro. One of the really cool features about the Launchpad Pro is its ability to send out aftertouch. 
To access the aftertouch settings, simply press and hold the setup page. The six buttons on the right hand side here allow me to change the aftertouch settings. When the white button is lit, aftertouch is currently switched off. The button immediately to the right of the white button puts the Launchpad Pro into polyphonic aftertouch mode. This means that the 64 pads can send out different aftertouch messages. If you have a device that works with polyphonic aftertouch, this can be a great way to get some fantastic expression into your performances. The button on the far right switches the Launchpad Pro into channel aftertouch. This means that the aftertouch message is sent out on that particular MIDI channel. The three switches underneath represent an aftertouch threshold. Here we have low, medium and high. If we're set to low, the aftertouch will react very easily. You may want to change these aftertouch settings to give you a more natural way of playing. Another great feature of the Launchpad Pro is the ability to control your devices with the fader layout. To access fader layout, again press the setup button at the top of Launchpad Pro and choose the purple button on the top row. When I release, we'll get some scrolling text to tell me I'm in fader mode. Using different MIDI channels, I can use fader mode to control my different instruments. If I press and hold the setup button, I can see that I'm in MIDI channel 1. So my fader control will control the machine drum. If I change the MIDI channel to channel 15, my faders will now control the bass station. Again, I'll move back to MIDI channel 1 and control the machine drum. When you're controlling any device from the Launchpad Pro, you can change the velocity settings to suit your playing style. To access the velocity settings, press and hold the setup button and choose the appropriate setting from these four buttons on the left hand side of Launchpad Pro. When set to white, the velocity setting is effectively switched off and each pad will output a value of 127. The three green switches to the left are low, medium and high. These can be changed to suit your playing style. So there we have it. If you want any more details on Launchpad Pro, subscribe to the YouTube channel or check out the Novation website.